today we will see about the degenerate perturbation uh, this is revised version uh, we have seen in the first order perturbation uh, e, uh, n of 1 that is first order correction for nth energy state is equal to uh, this expectation value of uh, the expectation value of perturbed Hamiltonian in unperturbed energy state that is uh, psi n0 uh, so uh, with an expansion coefficient a k of 1 is equal to uh, pra psi k 0 uh, h prime uh, get psi n 0 divided by e n minus e k so uh, this e k is final energy e n is the initial energy here k is not equal to n if k is equal to n what will happen that is a same energy level uh, for different state then it will be zero and uh, the expansion coefficient or probability amplitude is infinite so this will make some problem then we will see how to solve this we have seen uh, in the case of zeeban effect the magnetic field will split the spectral line into two uh, so initially without any perturbation uh, this energy level is the same uh, that is uh, same energy uh, for uh, two different state if you apply the magnetic field it will get splitted into two then if you uh, release the perturbation that is if you remove the magnetic field then it will become again one so let us say uh, we, we, we will see about the twofold uh, degeneracy let us take two energy levels psi a0 and psi b0 when h start unperturbed hamiltonian act on uh, psi f of 0 you will get the energy level e naught uh, psi a0 and similarly for p0 when h naught act on psi p0 you will get e naught psi b0 and also you know from orthonormal property uh, you will get uh, the inner product of psi a with psi p is equal to zero let us take the to total wave function is linear combination of these two that is wave function of uh, state a and wave function of state p uh, that is it's equal to alpha psi a zero plus beta psi p zero we know when h naught act on psi zero uh, you will get uh, e naught uh, psi zero now uh, in the case of uh, non degenerate uh, uh, perturbation theory we have we have seen this is uh, h uh, that is total hamiltonian which is split into two portions one is unperturbed hamiltonian and other one is uh, perturbed hamiltonian with the lambda parameter with the uh, uh, multiplication factor lambda and uh, wave function is uh, uh, written as a linear combination of psi naught plus lambda with lambda parameter lambda psi 1 0 plus lambda squared psi 2 0 it will go on similarly in the right hand side e naught psi naught uh, so the total energy is e naught plus lambda e1 plus uh, lambda squared e2 it will go up Similarly, the wave function, which we have written in the left hand side, psi naught uh, lambda psi 1 0 plus lambda squared psi 2 0, uh, it will go like this. Now, uh, you take the uh, first order correction, for first order correction, both side you take only the coefficient of lambda. So, if you multiply h naught, with lambda psi 1 you will get lambda so you take this h naught uh, psi 1 0 and next if you multiply this lambda h prime and psi naught you will get lambda so only two parameter with uh, lambda here so h prime this is h prime uh, psi naught similarly in the right hand side you take e naught then uh, multiply with this 
lambda uh, 1 0 so e naught lambda 1 0 then next case you will get lambda if you multiply this parameter and this one so that is e1 uh, psi naught so uh, now we will try to solve this now we got this expression uh, take an inner product with uh, psi a 0 so first term uh, bra psi a 0 h naught uh, psi 1 0 uh, same thing the for second term psi a 0 h prime psi naught in the right hand side uh, e naught psi a uh, 0 uh, psi 1 0 uh, plus e 1 psi a 0 psi naught here you can see the h naught is a Hamiltonian you have to keep it in your mind h naught will act uh, uh, either on bra vector or get vector nothing will change so here you take h naught to the bra vector when h naught act on e uh, a 0 we have seen you will get the energy level E naught. You will get energy level E naught. Uh, then since E naught is a number you can take out, then you will get uh, psi A0, psi A0, uh, inner product of psi A0 with uh, psi 1, 0. You can see the both will get uh, cancelled. The first term of right hand side and the first term of left hand side will get cancelled. So now you will get psi a 0 h prime psi naught in the left hand side. Similarly, e1 uh, psi a 0 psi naught in the right hand side. So we have seen the psi naught is equal to this alpha psi a 0 beta psi b 0. You replace this, get vector by this one alpha psi a0 plus beta psi b0 same thing here now you can split uh, the, uh, both right hand side and left hand side this inner product into two part first uh, you take alpha outside uh, then uh, if you take alpha you will get uh, psi a0 h prime uh, then psi a0 then you take beta term. So uh, beta you take outside. Then psi a zero h prime psi b zero. This psi b. Uh, you do the same thing in the right hand side. You take uh, psi a zero and alpha. You take alpha outside. Then psi a zero uh, psi a zero. You then uh, next term is E1, you take this term, beta. Beta outside, you take outside. Psi A0, Psi B0. So, uh, here, left hand side, we don't know what will happen when H prime act on Psi A0 or Psi B0. So, you leave the left hand side as it is. In the right hand side, uh, Psi A0, uh, and psi b0 are wave function of two different states. Naturally, uh, it will go to zero in a thought. Orthonormal, due to orthonormal property, it will be zero. Uh, then what about this inner product? Psi a0 with psi a0 is one. So left hand side, you will get only uh, alpha e1. Sorry, right hand side, you will get only alpha e1. Left hand side, you keep as it is. Then we will uh, simplify it further. Now we got this expression. Uh, now we are going to uh, simplify. Uh, we are going to rewrite this term as W A A because uh, the bra and get vector are psi A zero. And similarly here, this term for uh, mathematical simplification only. So this we are going to write as WAP. That is, this is a bra vector is a, a uh, for a particle A and uh, get vector is for uh, particle P, energy state P. So this will be, this can be rewritten as alpha WAA plus beta WAP, which is equal to alpha E1.
Similarly, if you take inner product with this IP0, you will get alpha, uh, alpha times uh, WPA plus beta times WPB, uh, which is equal to E1 beta. And now you can write this into uh, matrix form. You can form a matrix. First row, first column, WAA, first row, second column. That is here, P is the column. WAP. This is A row. This is a P row. So this is a first, uh, second row of first column. So WPA, WPP. Then you multiply this by a column uh, matrix alpha beta. Same thing in the right hand side. E1 multiplied by the column matrix alpha beta. Then if you multiply this and this you will get the WAA alpha, WAA alpha plus WAP beta, WAP beta is equal to E1, E1 alpha. Same thing is for second row, this one. Uh, WPA uh, alpha is uh, plus uh, WPP beta is equal to E1 beta. Now you uh, write down the characteristic matrix and find the determinant. Uh, for that, you bring this to the left hand side. Then this uh, matrix will become WAA minus E1, then WAP, uh, then WPA, WPP minus E1. This is the characteristic matrix to find the eigen, eigenvalue. This is uh, a usual processor. Uh, then uh, you multiply uh, this, that is uh, this and this, in order to find the determinant. That is WAA minus E1, WPP uh, minus E2, mul uh, multiplied by WPP minus E1. Uh, then minus this, these two, uh, sorry, one minute. Uh, this and this you multiply. So we know uh, WAP, complex conjugate of WAP is equal to WPA. So naturally, if you multiply this and this, you will get modulus AB whole square. So of course, a negative sign will come. Then you multiply the first term. Uh, yeah, then you will get minus E1 minus E1, E1 squared, and E1, uh, this uh, WPP, E1, WAA. Both minus here, E1 is minus, so you take E1, minus E1 outside, then you will get plus uh, WAA plus WPP, and if you multiply these two, you will get WAA, WPP minus, of course, this one, equal to zero. It's uh, like a quadratic equation. Now, we got this expression, which is in quadratic form. That is, uh, quadratic equation is AX squared uh, plus PX uh, plus C is equal to zero. This is in this form. Uh, here x is equal to e1. So e1 squared. Here a is 1. And then px. x is e1. So p is this one including this negative sign. So that is uh, p. And remaining things are c. So the Solution bar quadratic equation we know very well x is equal to minus p plus or minus square root of p squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is the standard solution. We have one solution for positive sign and one for negative sign. So I am writing here x is equal to, uh, to e1. So e1 uh, superscript plus or minus because we have two solutions I have written. Uh, here 2a, a is 1, so 2a is simply 2. I am taking that out. 1, uh, one over 2 uh, minus p, 
already there is a negative sign here so this will become positive waa plus wpp plus or minus p squared p squared is this square minus square is will become plus so this will be waa plus wpp whole square then minus 4ac then minus 4ac means a is 1 so simply it's minus 4c so c is uh, this one then minus uh, 4 waa wpp because it's a minus 4 ac then this minus of minus will become plus so plus 4 uh, modulus omega a b squared so this. then you can simplify these two terms so you know very well that uh, a plus p whole square minus 4 a b is equal to a minus p square a minus p whole square so here a, a is w a a p is w p p so a plus p whole square minus 4 a b in this form you have so this will, can be written as a minus p whole square that is w a a minus w p p whole square uh, plus uh, 4 uh, w a p modulus square uh, let us take uh, alpha is 0 and beta is uh, 1 that means uh, two fold degeneracy we are removing one uh, one energy state that is alpha uh, psi a uh, psi a0 one state we are removing uh, then what will be the result here alpha is uh, 0 and beta is 1 so alpha is 0 and beta is 1 so only this second row exists e1 this is e0 is 0 e into e1 into 0 is 0 so you take second second row this column so WPA0 zero is 0, WPP1, WPP. So E1 is equal to WPP, which, uh, which, is, uh, our, uh, which is defined as WP0 H prime. We got defined just now, H prime uh, psi P0. It resembles the non-degenerate case, non-degenerate uh, perturbation. So, uh, similarly for the other one if alpha is 1 here you take uh, alpha is 1 and beta is 0 alpha is 1 beta is 0 alpha is 1 and beta is equal to 0 alpha 1 beta 0 only the now first row exists so waa1 is waa and wap is 0 is 0 so then E1 is equal to WAA, which is equal to uh, Psi A0, H prime Psi A0. So this also resembles uh, the uh, non-degenerate uh, perturbation because uh, we uh, made beta as uh, 0. So uh, this resembles the non-degenerate case. Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.